You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorum is dead. The Kjotvesen clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chelbet has traveled to Sherapshah. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupsha. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Go, Zulin. Kya! Yeah. 
Come on. Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As King Killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You 
I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call Boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We are here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. You are wasting time! You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. <laughs> These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. I do not like the way this looks. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? 
I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvarch, by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself, by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Viva! What have you done? Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, ah. you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Oh, my God. 
Let Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. Hmm? <laughs> you did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Eva. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You will pray. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river. Those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury, then. Once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.
Paint me. Be my eyes. They will attack on sight here. When Lokan outpost, if I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened in one piece. Feared. More valuable than cargo. You are a true. Friend. I give you freedom. Thank you. Now you give this shire your pike.
now to track down their supply line. We will drag Rotary back to the peace table soon enough. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. As a Norse, I know I have little right to ask for your help. But I'm fighting to bring this war to an end. If you're truly fighting that devil, Rodri, I'll tell you what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. And thank you. Hold a moment. If you need extra help... I may. Good Mercian men are working in that quarry. They all fought for Thane Merton. If you find yourself in a pitched fight, call out his name in praise. The workers will rally to you. God bless Thane Merton. Understood.
Sunin, guide me. Once I burn those, we'll push Rockley to peace. Show me. I shouldn't be seen here. I hood should work. Now to Westbury, before Ivar causes more problems. 